Okay folks, welcome to the personal property tour for 14 Dove Street in Celadite. There's an amazing five bedroom, three bathroom, two reception, townhouse. Finished an extremely high standard. It is gorgeous. Wait till you see the back garden. Wait till you see the views. Wow. If you don't know where Dove Street is, like most people won't, because it's very off the beaten track, it's very secret this place, because you only come to Dove Street if you know someone who's here and you're visiting them or you actually live here. That's the only reason you're coming the street, because it is a no through road other than that. So it's a perfect opportunity. But it actually runs parallel to the actual Fife Coastal Path and the harbour itself in Cellar Dyke. Let me show you on the, and take you on the tour. So this is where we get in at the top of the road, into Dove Street, and it comes all the way in. You can see all the traditional built houses, and then it goes into that one at the very end, which is a dead end, basically. And, and then these are the properties there as well. This is the property in question that we're talking about. This is number 14. And I'll take you through on the tour. And I'll tell you all about the place for people that don't know the area as well at the end. So hang tight. It's a wee bit of trek. But I tell you what, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Really worth it. Okay, so as we come in the reception, uh, the reception hall, the main hall itself, you've got the stairway going up to the first floor level. Uh, you've also got... Uh, Plenty of storage in here, so you've got a big deep storage cupboard here. We're going to go into the living room, dining room in a minute, but we're going to pop upstairs and do that first. That door goes out access to the rear garden area, the courtyard and up into the garden. But I'll show you that when we go out, because we're going to go out via the kitchen. Under stairs cupboard for storage and also has the condenser boiler in there. Um, so, let's go up to the first level. Now, immediately what I like, the traditional aspect to these townhouses is these beautiful feature windows that go across two levels. And you'll see that when we go up to the next level, and you'll also see it when we're out at the top. So on the first floor, as we come in to the front, we've got this wee room here. Now this could be a home office, but ideally it probably would be a single bedroom before, but they've got it kitted out as a wee TV room area. And then off to the left hand side here, we've got this beautiful luxury bathroom, or shower room I would say, because there's a shower in it, not a bath, with that overhead Rainfall shower, metro style tiles, and I love that floor. Beautiful. Lovely sitting room area here, living room. You see that log burner off to the rear there. And then the sash and case window to the front. The great thing is the windows are all in really good condition. It's been really kept to a good standard, this house. And then off to the rear here, you've got a bedroom. So this could actually be a self-contained suite where you've got your own uh, ensuite, you've got your own shower room, you've got your own living room here as well, plus the fact you've got your own bedroom off to the rear. That's what I love about it. So big space for, you know, a double bed easily fits there. And you've got that huge area in the corner there for freestanding furniture, um, if that's what you're needing. Sneak peek at the back. Look at that. It goes all the way up to there. There's a gate that goes out to the road up the top and you can get right along. But wait till you get to the top of there, the amazing views. The sun sits on there all day long, more or less. And I'll talk about that when I get out there. And then back in, we'll have a wee look from this angle before we leave this room. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous is the word I would be using. Yeah, definitely. So then up to the next level, top floor. Up here, there's another three bedrooms. There's that window, as I said. See that, how it goes up into this stairwell. Access hatch to the roof space, you'll get a wee bit of storage up there. Again, a big, huge storage cupboard in there. Great thing about the top floor, you've got your own WC up there, so there's the next one. Uh, off to the rear here, we've got a good sized double bedroom. And that overlooks the rear garden, the dormer. You can see that through the window there the gate at the top then into the next double bedroom to the front there's two of them here to the front the great thing about that is you've got a cupboard for your hanging shelving storage there's plenty of space for a double bed and look at these views look at the shimmer on that water that is gorgeous there's the harbour right there and then there's Berwick Law, away in the distance. Behind there, there's Berwick Law. See it? Behind that aerial. And then as you come round, 
you go all the way down, you see these beautiful views all the way over to Berwick and Leith. And then you've got the May Isle. I never get bored of that. That's, that changes colour every single day. It's different. It's the same shape, but it's just different every day. It's just gorgeous. As I said, it shows you how close it is to the sea and the seaside and the beach and everything. Okay, let's go through in the next bedroom. Again, to the front, good sized double bedroom. Really good sized double bedroom, actually. And then again, you can see a bit more of the views. This one actually gives you a bit more extended view out to the side. Almost panoramic all the way around. Brilliant, isn't it? And I could just see the start as you go right along and you'll get along there to the cellar like tidal pool as it goes along. But you can check that out in the drone footage. Okay, let's pop downstairs and I'll see you down there. So here we are downstairs. Let's flip the camera around and continue the tour down here and out the back. So as I said before, that's the doorway going out to the rear. You've got the understairs cupboard that has the condenser boiler in there. Off to this side, this is where we'll take you next. Now on my right hand side, it opens up into another living room. Which is a good space. Really good space. Nice and bright. And, and then off into the side here, we've got another shower room. So we've got another shower room in there, good size uh, uh, cubicle with sliding doors, and then your WC around the corner. So really good size space here. And then off into the rear, you can see that dining table and chairs there, so plenty of space. I'd be tempted, you could potentially put up a, a stud partition, put a doorway in there and you could effectively make this another separate room with its own thing, even an ensuite bedroom, actually. Um, but that's entirely up to yourself because that could technically, upstairs could be your living room and this could just be a dining room for the kitchen itself. So this could be self-contained separate from here. Because you've got your window to the rear which brings in the natural light and has all that plenty of space around here. So there's a multiple uses that you could do with this in terms of subdividing it and using it for exactly what you want. Uh, right, a great size kitchen here, L-shaped in size. Um, uh, you've got your oven, you've got your hob extractor, and then as you come round, you've got your sink as well, and you can see to the rear there, place for a freestanding, probably American style fridge freezer. You've got a tabletop washer, they've got their dishwasher, and they've got space for the washing machine as well. Gorgeous, isn't it? I could see myself living here. <laughs> Especially once you see out the back. Okay. That's what it says about the windows. The windows are all in really good state of repair. They're absolutely really, they're really, really good. It's surprising to get that here um, because of the weather. And okay, so uh, out, 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 outdoor water tap as well. Um, and then you go up your traditional steps. There's that door to the rear, I says, from the hallway coming out here. And we've got the steps. Now, at some point in time, the sun's going to be here all day long. It's somewhere in this garden. This is your first patio level. So this is the first area you can sit. Here's the next area you can sit. And it's also got a table there for dining that they've set up. So perfectly engineered like that. Ergonomically laid out, as they say. Taking advantage of the sun. We're sitting at 20 to 1. Sun's there, so we're probably round about there for 12 o'clock, that's south facing then. So therefore the sun's going to come up here, and it's going to go down over here. So the great thing is, anywhere between here and here, probably the sun's going to be in it from morning till, till dusk. Um, I would say so anyway. Um, okay, so another seating area up here if you want, uh, it's entirely up to yourself. And then, as I said, there's the steps that go out to the rear here. So this goes out to the rear gate, to the road, and this can lead you back along uh, across the top road or it can lead you along and down the hill to the cellar dyke tidal pool, but we'll talk about that when we get up there. You see, catch a glimpse of these views, eh? Gate to the rear, go along, cellar dyke tidal pool, you can just see the beginning between the houses there, where it is, open water swimming's your thing, pop out there and along, or you could just pop along the front. In there, or you can pop back along there. But as I said, look at these views. 
I'll be tempted to just sit with a table and chairs here for myself with a cup of coffee in the morning after having a wee open water swim and just enjoying the view and the lifestyle and the peace and quiet when I stop talking. I'll zoom in a wee bit and show you a bit more. This is what I see. Beautiful, isn't it? That sun beating down. Absolutely gorgeous. So, let me just recap as I go down. Five bedroom, three bathroom, two reception. Townhouse, three levels. Finished an extremely high standard, you can see that yourself. Ready to move in. Great local primary school, but actually if it's a family home, great local primary school. Um, and you've also got a fantastic uh, high school here as well, Wade Academy, which is a top performing high school in Fife. Um, great lifestyle choice, great village community here as well. Uh, I'm on the Celadite Tidal Pool Committee um, as their, one of their directors. Um, so, and you know, I know what it's like engaging with everybody here and it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, can you be more welcoming? The village life is for you. This is probably the place for you and your family, especially if you're living in a big city and all that turmoil and you could have this for this price point. Um, anyway, as I said, uh, easy access to the harbour just around the corner, the Fife Coastal Path as well. Uh, the cafes, bistros and restaurants are round about here. Um, you've got the, the skin fee, um, the skinny um, skin fee, which is just along the road, um, which is barbecue and all the rest of it in the East, door, east New Outdoors uh, um, water. Um, uh, um, uh, activities and then back along you can go back along the Shore Street and answer that um, which is just along along the road there on the Fife Coastal Path as you walk back along and to answer you've got the cafes, bistros and restaurants along there as well open water swimming next door at the RLI uh, answer the uh, lifeboat centre that's got a good beach great golf course here as well proximity to St Andrews over the hill probably about 10 or 11 miles over the hill um, so the best of everything right here especially the best of lifestyle for your family there's more details on this post, you can click on the link above or below or you can message us direct for uh, more details if you want or you can contact us at 01 333 421 774 Until next time guys, I'm Jim Parker for Five Properties TV